I'll end up headed strike as I'll warm row is on the way out. But before I continue, guys, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell for more updates. So, Wama Rose time at Orlando Pirates is said to be coming to an end after failing to adjust at the Buccaneers, where competition for a place in the starting lineup is tough. According to ASOS, Maro is a fine player and very talented, but Orlando Pirates is not a team where he will be able to make a name for himself. The Cameroonian player has not been getting game time at the Buccaneers despite coming to the club with a lot of expectations. He has only featured twice for the club this season. He got game time against Jawal FC and Yuanen Galaxy in the CAF Champions League. Maro, who is only 23 years old, was expected to hit the ground running at the Buccaneers. However, the style of play at the club and the pace of the game in the country has been a major issue for him. His failure to adjust has seen him being considered as the last option out of Pirates attacking players, while the likes of Evidence Mahopa have forced their way into the team. Maro is leaving the team, there is no doubt about that. The guy is struggling to cope, even at training. He has been given the chance to show what he can do, but it's just not working out for him. I've seen his videos before he came to the team. We all thought that he was going to be the next big foreign player in the league. His time is over, I don't want to lie. That's unless if the coach Jose Rivero still needs him, but the management doesn't see why they still have to keep him at the club. Orlando Pirates have received a major boost as two of their star players have returned to the squad after serving suspensions. As a result, the duo will be available for selection when the Soweto Giants travel to KZN on Sunday 17th December to face out of um, Golden Arrows FC in the TSTV Premiership. The game will be played at the Mpumalanga Stadium with kickoff set for 15.30 as both clubs will be looking to finish the year on a positive note. The duo's return might have come at the right time as the Syropas seem to be finding their groove and consistency back in the league. Orlando Pirates are unbeaten in their last five league encounters. They have managed to register four victories and drew one match. To add to their great form, the team has been solid at the back as they have been considered a goal in the process. The happy people have welcomed back attacker Temingo Lodge and midfield engine Tabang Munare who were both serving different suspensions. The two stars have been key for the ghost this season. Temingo Lodge made 11 appearances in all competitions, scored three goals and provided one assist. While Munare have been bossing the midfield after making 17 appearances in all competitions. Temingo Lodge was suspended from all the club's activities from 22 November to 12 December. This was after he was found guilty of assault with intent to cause grievous bodily harm to his former girlfriend Fundiswa Matitibala in June 2022. His three-year jail sentence was suspended but he was ordered to pay 100,000 fine to people opposing women abuse. As a result, Temingo Lodge missed the Orlando Pirates' three games against the Richards Bay FC, Morocco Swallows and TS Galax. As for Tabang Munar, he has been training with the rest of the team. The midfielder was serving a two-match ban after receiving a straight red card against Richards Bay FC. The 34-year-old hit a ball boy for wasting time towards the end of the match. He therefore missed the two Orlando Pirates' game against the Morocco Swallows and TS Galax. 